Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I am building a trailer home in the world of Oasis Springs and this one is going to be a starter home so it is under 20,000 simoleons. It is somewhat limited pack. I did use a few different packs in this build but I tried to keep most of the stuff that wasn't base game pretty limited so that way if you downloaded this build nothing major would be missing but I will point those things out as we get to them. For example, the windows that I'm using here on the front of the build are from Get Famous and I use those pretty much in the entire build. Uh, so Get Famous is one that you would probably need for the windows uh, but a lot of the furniture I used is base game and I used some clutter pieces from the new kits but that's not really important. <laughs> so. Uh, you should be fine without that. There's also a couple of things I noticed throughout that I only used one item and then I go back and I change it or I think it's something that could be easily replaced like a wallpaper. So I will point those out as we get to them. But for right now, I'm just trying to figure out the roofing and the color I wanted to go with here. I was trying to stay away from white windows because I do that too often in my builds and I wanted something that looked a little bit outdated and could tell a little bit of a different story for your sims starting out here in Oasis Springs since this is probably going to be their first home since it is a starter home. So I just wanted it to be a little bit dated but like not too run down. There's a couple of things that are a little bit uh, worse for wear but I think it ends up being a really cute house in the end. I adore how this came out. So if you do like it and you'd like to download it, it will be available right now on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Uh, this actually ends up being a pretty good size. It's just a one bedroom, one bathroom. And like I said, it comes in just shy of 20K. Uh, but you could probably extend it and get more <laughs> space out of this or make the bathroom smaller. Uh, but I wasn't trying to make this a tiny house, so I just wanted to make sure we had enough space and everything wasn't too cramped. It's a little bit cramped because it is relatively small, but I could have made it a lot smaller if I wanted it to be a tiny house. So I decided not to do that. But when you first walk in, we're gonna have the kitchen space and there's a little narrow hallway with a bathroom and the bedroom down at the end. And I think that that floor plan works out pretty nicely in the end, just getting a couple of doors in here. And then we should be decorating the inside before I go back to the outside to do the landscaping at the end but I needed to use this new shag carpet that we got with the pastel pop kit. It is just perfect for the style I wanted to go for in this house. So I needed to use that. I just used it in the bedroom though. It didn't feel like it really worked in the entry of this house, but that's okay. I also was able to not put the cheapest, cheapest appliances in every part of this apartment. So we have more cabinets in the kitchen. They're a cheap one, but there's more of them. Uh, in the bathroom, we have a shower tub combo instead of just a shower, which is quite nice. I believe I did use the cheapest fridge and the stove though, but that's because I really wanted to use this particular one in these swatches uh, because I was going for a little bit more of a dated look, but <laughs> I think they look nice. Uh, they're the cheapest base game ones. Anyway, there's a cheaper version from City Living, which is basically the same thing, but a little bit more worn down. Uh, I did use City Living in this build, but it's only for the wallpaper. So if you don't have City Living, that's completely fine. It's just the inside wallpaper will be a different one. And there's a lot of basic ones in Beast Game that would fulfill that purpose. They're just a little bit cleaner than the one that I picked. I just wanted something that was a little bit uh, messier. And uh, I think the one I picked worked out nicely. At first, I was thinking I was going to use this couch also from City Living, it's one of the couches you can find at the flea market, but I decided it was getting a little bit too like mustardy yellow in here and I wanted to add some other colors. So I did change that in the end for a different couch, but first I'm figuring out a television. I opted for this one from Eco Lifestyle that you can get from a dumpster. I think it is so cute. There are some like other older style TVs from Base Game though you could replace that with. Like I said, I tried to keep the pack usage to like a couple of items here and there that wouldn't make or break the entire interior. Um, and since I was using Get Famous for the windows already, I decided to use a rug that is also from that pack. And then I get some uh, tile in the kitchen. I believe I add some aprons in here as well. And I get some clutter from the new clutter kit over here on this table. I love that box of junk. I just, ha I have so many of those around my house. So I think it's a really realistic touch and I quite enjoyed adding that. Also got some of these cups 
And like I had mentioned, like this is a really simple thing. If you don't have the clutter kit, those items will just be gone and they're not important to the build. I just was having a little bit of fun with it. And this is definitely a more limited pack build than my typical builds. I do occasionally do things where I only use base game or specifically use one or two packs. But this one, I was just trying to not overuse packs, if that makes sense. Uh, so then over here, I just have a couple of base game plants as well as some knives and some cookware. I think it works really nicely over here. Just some minimal clutter on the counters over by these corner windows. I'm actually going to be adding some curtains to the windows here shortly. Uh, but I end up getting rid of them in the end because I didn't like how they looked and they were poking through the walls. And also they would have added another pack to the list of things I was using. So those go away. Also, you can see the trash can I put down next to the stove. I'm going to be swapping that one out later for a base game one because that one is from Get to Work and it was the only item I was using from Get to Work. So I thought that that was a bit silly. So I did get rid of that in the end and uh, just rearranging the orientation of the living room so that we can fit in a table and chairs in the kitchen for your Sims to have a dining spot. I uh, just used a base game one with the glass top. It's not my favorite, but... It is something that we were able to afford and since I was keeping a, you know, very keen eye on that budget, I wanted to make sure we had something affordable in this space. But I was happy that I was able to at least afford some clutter throughout the space and actually a pretty expensive piece of artwork I put here in the living room. I really liked that I was able to include that. I feel like a lot of the times in starter homes, you don't have enough money for any kind of decor. So it was nice to be able to add some of it in this space. And then I'm just gonna get a fire alarm and temperature controls over here. Once again, temperature controls you could get rid of. That's from Seasons. I'm trying to think if I used anything else from Seasons. That might be the only thing. I'm not entirely sure because this entire bathroom is base game currently. Uh, I believe I also added a base game mirror and uh, very minimal decorations in this bathroom. I didn't want it to be too over the top or too messy. Uh, so I just have a couple of things in here. I wanted the space to look lived in. That's why I have some of the clutter out in the main living space. But I didn't want it to be too much since it is a starter home. Uh, but there are a couple of things you could definitely delete to get some of your money back. Like that artwork in the other room or maybe the coat hanging on the wall by the front door. <laughs> There's definitely some items uh, that you could sacrifice to um, get a couple of simoleons back for your sims, but I think this is a pretty affordable starter home. I was quite happy with it. Anyway, this is the bedroom space. We did not end up keeping that artwork because I actually ended up having wood paneling in here. I was looking everywhere for the vertical wood paneling. It's perfect. This is the vibe I wanted for the interior of the house. I was really happy that I could find that. And uh, then I got a couple more windows up above the bed. I just like the look of those small windows really high up above a bed. So thinking about it, I just think it looks really cute. And I think it worked nicely with the style of this trailer. And uh, then just getting a dresser and a plant. A couple more decorations in this bedroom. Nothing too complicated. I do like adding that uh, bathroom hanging on the corner of mirrors. So I think it looks really realistic and like it's actually hanging there. So I quite liked that. And then we're outside now working on some landscaping and some fencing. I wanted to give this house a little bit of a yard. And of course, trying to mimic the plants and landscaping from around this world. Uh, so getting those plants from Shalivated Objects, got a couple of trees around and we got some uh, aloe plants as well and some like shrubs and stuff. And I tried to paint part of this lot to have just a tad bit of greenery <laughs> and it ends up looking really weird in the end. Uh, but I think I figured it out. Uh, what you'll see at the end of this is like a weird dark green, but I end up making it brighter later on and... I think it looks a lot better, so please disregard that when we get to it, but I just wanted a little bit of like overgrown grass patches around just like little bits here and there. I thought that that looked realistic with how the rest of this world looks, and then just a little path up to the porch. Uh, it took me way too long to remember that I didn't have a mailbox or a trash can, so no worries, those do get added. <laughs> it just takes me a little while to realize that. Uh, but I did put one of these like little planters out front from Debug to put some of the plants in. I just feel like it makes it look a little bit more structured and nice because I wanted this to be like an older home and maybe not like the nicest space, but I didn't want it to be gross or anything like that. I just wanted it to be a nice starter home for your Sims. So hopefully I achieved that. Uh, I think this is an adorable little home and I, I, I think it would be a lot of fun to renovate over time and see what you can come up with for this space. 
So yeah, just getting a couple of planters out here. I decided to go with these base game ones instead in this yellow color. I just thought the yellow popped against this house. Uh, I don't normally use this brown color on the house, but I really liked it. And here's that green grass I tried to use. I just think it looks kind of gross. So I do change that later on. I don't think I have it on camera though <laughs> to be a brighter green. So that way, you know, the little bit of life that we have on this lot, it doesn't look so um, muddy, I guess. And then I just get some more rocks over here as well as some palm trees to really bring in all of the types of greenery we have around this world. And that's where I remember to get the trash can and the mailbox. So just grabbing that now, putting that out front. And uh, that's pretty much it for this build. We come in just shy of 20K. So you're gonna have a little bit of simoleons left. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.